That's beautiful right there, I'll tell you what. You guys see it? You see it? Hello? What's up, buddy? <laughs> oh, he's hiding over here. Look it. Will he go on my I finger, right? No? Will he bite it? I don't know. Does he ever go on your finger? Shit. No? Oh, fucking motherfucker. <laughs> he's all setting me up. He's like, yeah, go for it. Laughing at me. What's up, buddy? Yeah. Pretty slick. Nice blinker. Alright guys, I'd like to get the shift in there. So we're on our way to pick up a spare motor for the drift truck like I was telling you guys about. We're only going one town away, so only about a 10 minute drive away, but stick with us. The guy's actually going to start up that motor for us in his driveway so we know it's got oil pressure and it'll at least last long enough for us till we get the other motor built. So stick with us, we're about to be there. Abuse. <laughs> Whew, it is a warm one out here today, boys. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you again. I appreciate it. Bye. Yes, sir. All right, brother. Don't work too hard. Look at that. We got the 5.3 picked up. <laughs> I would if I was you. <laughs> it's like 109 degrees out right now, boys. Whew. Computer. All right. Whew, let's get home. All right, what's up, guys? Uh, welcome back to another video, or just add it on to the video that I'm already making. But uh, in this today's video, we're gonna try and get this girl stabbed in this truck. So, just finished swapping over the clutch and all pilot bearing, knock sensors, all kinds of stuff had to be installed on this motor uh, if you guys didn't know I picked up a 5.3 that's what this is and my actual built 5.7 motor is gonna be sent out to the shop to get rebuilt and I ain't got time for this truck to be down for two months while the uh, machine shop rebuilds it so yep getting ready to stab this in today so stick with us and another thing we're gonna be doing is my wife's Ford uh, I actually wouldn't start up. It was running real rough yesterday. So I got this little scanner I'll try to diagnose it today. Let's see what the hell's going on. I think it's the injectors uh, I've never replaced the injectors in the truck. I wouldn't think I had to but you know Might need to flush them out. I poured some uh, injector cleaner down the tank the other week and it made it run a little better But now it didn't even want to start for her this morning. So she actually took my diesel If you guys could tell That's my commuter Diesel's gone that's her truck so don't want her to get used to that uh we're gonna end up buying her a diesel here soon but this truck maybe we can make it last you know a little bit longer but uh if not we might be trading this old girl in but enjoy the video a little update got the roll pan on this truck it was actually mangled <clears throat> i'm not sure if you guys can tell but uh kind of wide bodied the girl it's kind of it's real subtle on that side, but on this side, because the rear bed got knocked in, it, you can really tell over here that I wide-bodied it. But the whole bed actually swoops in. I gotta actually ratchet strap it, and I'm gonna I'm gonna bend it out myself. So y'all stay tuned for that. But let me get this computer hooked up. See what the hell's going on with this truck. Just let you guys know it's 107 degrees out right now. Could be more, so it's hot as piss. Not a good time to be doing this, but you know, we're doing it. Oh, fuel rail. I knew it was the fuel system low. Repair immediately. Forward. Ha, I knew it was the fuel. So uh, I might be either buying injectors or maybe pulling these ones out and getting them flush. So system pressure too low 
Huh. I wonder if the either the injectors are clogged or the fuel filter's clogged. Man, it could even be the fuel pump itself, not freaking. So I'm actually look those codes up real quick and I'm gonna see what I come up with and I'll let you guys know. All right, guys, just got to here to AutoZone. Gotta check this car out real quick. Pretty slick. It says 1975, won't get into it too much. Dude, it's kind of a prick, but let's get after it. Hey. What the fuck did I come here for? Oh, fuel pump. Damn, boys. I hope it's not the high pressure fuel pump. We just went to AutoZone and they don't have it in stock. The cheapest one they had was $380. I can't believe that shit. I'm gonna stop by my buddy's little shop real quick, tell him about the code and see what he suggests. Cause man, I don't really wanna have to spend all that if I don't have to. Stick with us. What's up guys? We made it over to my buddy Anthony's shop. He's got a bunch of cars in here. He's got a pretty sweet El Camino. You guys can see right here on some rims. Whew, they clean, they clean. I guess one of these is a 383 stroker with a 400 horse. Which one? This one right here? Obviously the pretty one, huh? That one's What do you got right there? Oh, brother. That one's a That's beautiful right there, I'll tell you what. Man. Blueprint. You guys see it? You see it? I'm a big LS guy, you guys know that, but you can never go wrong with some American muscle, brother. Oh. <laughs> nah, it's badass. Yeah, that one's Diamond Light, 447. 447, he's saying on this one right here, guys. Oh, that's a blueprint also, look at that, that's slick. Hell yeah. Yep, it's my buddy Anthony right here, he's got a shop actually in town, so I try to figure out as much as I can, but I can't. He's got the knowledge, man, I'm telling you. So let's come check this thing out. That blueprint motor is going in this girl right here. Oh, he's got some wheel woods on it. Hi! <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Hello? Hello? What's up, buddy? <laughs> What's up, buddy? Dude, do not stick your finger in there. <laughs> Might not come back. You just got one right now? Or you, what happened? Yeah. Is he chilling in his cage? Oh, he's hiding over here. Look at it. Will he go on my finger, right? No? Will he bite it? I don't know. Does he ever go on your finger? Shit. No? Oh, fucking motherfucker. <laughs> he's all setting me up. He's like, yeah, go for it. <laughs> you got nine more fingers. Yeah, no, no, no. Look, he's over here laughing at me. What's up, buddy? Yeah. Get that shit out of here. Yeah. What's up, bud? <laughs> oh, nice. Right on. Well, I'm gonna get out of here, brother. Waste you all your time and shit. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. All right, this El Camino's got itself an LS in the back, so. Man, he's got a bunch of projects right here, but let's get out of his hair. We'll see you back at the house. My wife's getting home in the diesel. I need to turn up the idle a little bit on her. Oh yeah, I gotta turn that idle up a little bit. Hi, baby. Hello. How was it driving the big rig Dude, today? Uh, beast. Hmm. Had the AC on? Uh, oh, yeah. Good job. I need to turn that idle up a little bit. Knocks it down pretty low once you turn that AC on, but we'll get her dialed in. Roxy girl. Roxy girl. Hey, girl. Oh, papa. Good dogs. That's not a good dog. Hey! She's yelling at my wife to give her attention. Hi. Attention, mom. Give me attention, oh, mama. That, 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 that but what's up, guys? We are back at the house. We are taking a break on the Ford. Uh, you guys seen, I was just at my buddy Anthony's house. Hold on right here. We're just at my buddy Anthony's shop. Let me correct myself. And he told me to actually rig up a fuel pressure gauge type deal to see exactly how much pressure is in there. 
from the uh, the rear fuel sending unit. There's actually two pumps on this truck. Hey, you don't want to film a little more? Come back over here. Come on, we're not done. We're not done. So like I said, there's two fuel pumps on this truck and there's one in the tank and then it shoots it up to the high pressure tank. So I put this gauge on the low end pressure tank to see where it was at. We hit about 70 PSI and me and Dom right now, yeah. we're gonna actually jack up this motor and get it on the stand and maybe maybe wheel it around over here and try and get it in this truck. What do you think? You wanna help me do that or what? Like ride it? No, we're gonna try and install it. It's gonna take a while to ride it. Come on, boy. Yeah. You wanna help me do that? All right. So right. let me grab my jack right quick, my actual cherry picker, whatever you wanna call it, engine hoist. And we're gonna get the motor hooked up and Dom's gonna help me install the motor right. in the truck. All right, boys. Let me catch you up. I don't know where we were last at on the video. My nephew was just here for a little bit, helped me water the lawn. Didn't really help me work on the truck, but it's all good, he's, he's young. So, got the motor on the stand. On the stand, what am I talking about? Motor picked up on the cherry picker, ready to go in the truck. Uh, I'm obviously being lazy and not pulling the motor out. I don't want to re-bleed the clutch. And I'm being lazy right here. I don't want to disconnect the power steering. Because obviously once it's in, it can just bolt right back up. This is the only thing I'm really worried about is getting that shaft kind of, you know, it, it made it together. So I think I got a strap down there, but I'm going to get a cherry picker under that, lift that sucker up, kind of pitch it up at an angle. That sucker's kind of pointing down at the correct angle. And we'll see if we can get them to, you know, marry up for the, the time being. But uh, stick with us. I'm gonna get the motor in there. We're gonna get this sun bitch slapped in tonight. Yes, sir. All right, what's up guys? My nephew took off, like I said, but we got the motor stabbed in there. Still fighting with the motor mounts. So I'm probably gonna have to drop the trans cross member, tilt it down because the back bolt's not getting through. Well, the bolt's not getting through the front and it's not making it through the weight of the back. So. I think the motor needs to be tilted down, so stick with us. I'm gonna lower the back of the transmission and get the sucker to sit back, lean like a cholo, and sit on in there, man. It's so freaking close. All right, stick with us. All right, guys, let me shut this thing fan off so you can actually hear me. But as you can see, motor is in bolted in trucks on the ground that motor mount fought me for like 40 minutes man yep trans is hooked up clutch is hooked up tomorrow i'm gonna start cleaning the valve covers the intake put the injectors in i gotta clean out the fuel cell still it's got e85 in it we're just running a regular fuel in this motor so hope you guys enjoyed this video we got a lot more to go on this truck almost there Ready to get back behind the wheel. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. More to come, baby. More to come. See you on the next one.